In this video, I'm going to work to make the complex simple. There's two things that I look at as an investor that are my main focuses. Instead of listening to all the bullshit on the news, when things are going to go parabolic, when things are going to go up and go down, when it's too late, I look at two reports that are very, very important. Number one is M2 money supply, okay? We also have number two, interest rates, going up or going down. So what happens is when M2 money supply increases, so when they turn the printing machine on, when money supply goes up and interest rates go down, your assets like crypto and stocks go up. So let me break this down further. From 2020 to about 2022, they turned the printing machine on full blast. What that created was an overvalued stock market, if you look at the Warren Buffett indicator. It also made cryptocurrency go parabolic. Now, cryptocurrency also had the organic four-year uh, market, the, bull, the, bear, the bear and bull market, with the Bitcoin halving, but we also had tons of money coming into the market. M2 money supply went through the roof after the pandemic, and they were in a low interest rate environment. So we had a low interest rate environment, and we had high printing of money. Now, the problem with that was, as they printed so much money, it caused inflation. Okay. Then all of a sudden, they crashed, they raised interest rates, and they crashed money supply. And so what happened is, as we transitioned into 2023, you saw the bond yields inverted. We had the first bank collapse, and then all of a sudden, BlackRock says that Bitcoin's a flight to quality. So if you pay attention in 2024, coming up very soon, that they're going to be lowering interest rates and they're going to be increasing money supply, which has already happened. Money supply went negative 2023, beginning of 2024. Money supply is now increasing. Okay? As of this video, I'm recording it. Money supply is at 1.26 positive. And on September 17th or September 18th, Jerome Powell may lower interest rates, which is going to make your assets go up. So let's, let's make the complex simple. Okay. If money supply picks up, which you can pull these reports up on Google, and interest rates go down, you should see an adverse effect of your cryptocurrency stock market going up. So if you ever see money supply decreasing and interest rates going up, you should see your assets going out. Now, why is that? The U.S. dollar is the dominant currency. When we raise interest rates, it becomes more valuable, so people put money into the dollar. When we lower interest rates, people move out of the dollar into assets. So let's make the complex simple. Now, we're coming on the back end of 2024. We have a presidential election. We have Jerome Powell lowering interest rates. Okay? We also have money supply increasing, and we're about six months from the Bitcoin halving. So expect a massive parabolic move in crypto. But pay attention to M2 money supply and interest rates, and you're going to be all right. Warriors, rise. Get your shit together. Let's go.